Crazy fool trying to do, break his neck. Crazy fool? Say, hey, that's Fred Crump. Well, well what? He's the greatest stunt flyer in the world, and he's my pal. Al? Al who? What's his last name? Not Al, Fred. Fred. Dead. Who's dead? Fred Cromwell. He is. Why don't he come down then? Listen, that's Fred Cromwell. The best flyer on earth. Oh, Fred Cromwell. Why didn't you say so in the first place? You don't have to yell like that. I'm not deaf. Hey, Jolly B. Cromwell's landing at your turn. Oh, thanks. Hey, kid. Nice work, Cromwell. You're a big mutt. Trying to break your neck, huh? Well, I just put on the regular show. Yeah. Three dead stick loops. Come oh, on, you take worse chances than I do. Get up there and stretch yourself, big boy. Get on this, Johnny B. missed that time. He never misses. That's Jelly Bean Cook, the greatest fire that ever... <laughs> Why, Hank Davis, you old son of a sea cook, where have you been keeping yourself? I've gone back to engineering, building a power dam near San Juan. <laughs> oh, Jelly Bean is just as wild as ever. What are you boys going to do when the show closes tomorrow? Move on to the next air meet, I guess. Glad to see you. Say, how about the three of us putting on our old flying air? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jelly Bean, but I haven't been in the air for months. And besides, I came down here to offer you two a job. Doing what? Guarding a dam. Who would want to steal a dam? Nobody. But for several days, there's been a squadron of planes flying over our construction camp, dropping notes, warning us to stop work. Who are they? Now, that's what we'd like to know. We call them the Mystery Squadron, but their leader signs himself the Black Ace. 
I get it. You want us to run him down. Exactly. But it's a tough job. The Black Ace is a marvelous flyer. What do you say, pal? Who's afraid of the big Black Ace? Warning. Flyers can't help you. Now we act. The Black Ace. You haven't changed your minds, have you, boys? I should say not. When do we start? <laughs> Thanks, boys. I told the boss I could depend on you. After the show tomorrow, I'll fly down to San Juan. I'll meet you at the Tavern Hotel. Here, in advance. San Juan's not much of a place, so uh, stock up with anything you need. Hey, give me all them jelly beans. Collins. Here's good news. Now we'll find out who's behind the mystery squadron. I certainly hope so. Tom, put some men on that lower field to clear it off for a landing place. Yes, Mr. Gray. You know, we've been having some trouble with those shipments from San Juan. Uh, don't you think I'd better drive down there tomorrow? That's a good idea. Don't let her fool you. I've heard of these bobhead bandits. What's the idea of shooting at us? Shooting at you? With what? With a machine gun. Don't try to... This isn't a plane we were fighting. But you certainly let us off the trail so your partner could... Don't be funny. I was trailing you and your mystery squadron. What do you know about the Mystery Squadron? I know two members of it now. And someday, I'll turn you both over to the sherry. I bet she'd do it, too. And 
I'll bet she's the prettiest girl in New Mexico. Dorothy, you mustn't take such chances. It was foolhardy of you to follow the mystery squadron. But, Dad, now I can identify two of the flyers if I ever meet them again. I'm sorry, Chief, but... Yeah, never mind the alibi. Hop on. Chief. Why did you stop here now? I have to. They crippled my plane. And you let them get away? They didn't follow me here. I threw out a smoke screen. Don't you realize the chance you took? If anyone should discover this spot, we stand to lose the richest gold mine in the country. We stand to lose it anyway. If Stephen Gray finishes building that dam, this mine will be under 50 feet of water. Don't worry. The mystery squadron will see to it that Gray never finishes that dam. I'll fix up my plane and go after Cromwell and Cook again. No, no, I have another idea for them. Get those drills out of my car. I have to go back to the dam. I don't want to arouse Gray's suspicion. The Black Ace calling. Station A. The Black Ace calling. Station A. It's the chief. Station A, Bracken, standing by. Stephen Gray has hired two flyers to guard the dam. They are on their way to San Juan right now. Send two of your best men to meet them. Listen carefully for further instructions. They will... Doesn't look very exciting. It's a good thing I brought plenty of jelly beans. Would you please tell Henry Davis that Fred Cromwell and Bill Cook are here? He ain't in. He ain't? But Mr. Davis was supposed to meet us here today. That ain't my fault. You can wait here if you want to. That's funny. Sounds like our plane. him somehow. Come on, Jelly Bean. Maybe that fellow will help us. A man just stole our plane. Will you help us chase him? Say, are you Cromwell and Cook? Yes, why? Henry Davis sent me down to meet you. Hop in, we'll get him. Off the road by some of the 
Black Ace's men and beaten up. Tell me, a couple of flyers were supposed to meet me here. You mean Cromwell and Cook? Yes. Where are they? They just flew away in that plane. Where are they going? Why, the pilot said you sent him to pick them up. I didn't send anybody. Now I understand. The work of the mystery squadron. Follow me. Get into these outfits. I guess you know what this is all about. Yeah, we're in the mystery squadron. You'll make twice as much money working for this outfit as you would guarding the dam. Suppose we don't want to fly for you. Then you'll never fly for anybody. You're in this outfit to stay. From now on, you're taking orders. You'll do as you're told, go where you're sent, and come back if you're alive. The Black Ace calling Station A. The Black Ace calling Station A. Station A. Bracken standing by. Are the new flyers there? Yes, Chief. Good. Stephen Gray is expecting the anti-aircraft guns tomorrow. That means we must strike now. Have the squadron take off immediately. I'll meet you above the dam and direct the attack. Any questions? No, Chief. Now we can find out who the Black Ace is. Watch me and do whatever I do. Get the plane started. Jones, Grant. Yeah, sir. You two will ride behind Trouble and Cook. See that they carry out our orders. You men will fly planes four and five. All you have to do is follow the smoke screen out of here. To your planes. Run! 
Ten shots. Put on your earphones. Adjust your parachute. Get under cover, boys, and don't fire until they dive at us. Each man pick out a plane. Keep your nerve. Make every shot count. He left camp some time ago. Shoot! 